We're going to start off getting warm with just a little bit of in and out first. Just a little in and out. So I'm kind of probing with the jab here. One, one. Ben's going to fire a jab back at me. I'm going to step out of the way. I'm going to step back in. One, two, one, two. Just moving around. One, one, whoop, one, two. I want to get just outside of the reach of his jab. Zoop. And then I want to step back in, almost like I'm riding his jab back to his face. And this jab is just going to make a lane for my right hand shot. So it's in, in, out, one, two. Jab it, jabbing, out, one, two. That's all we're doing first just to warm up. Get your feet woke up, nice and light, nice and relaxed on the balls of your feet. Right? Wake up your feet. On three, one, two, three. Probing with the jab, one. Move one, stay centered with them. They jab back at you. I want you to step out just outside of reach and then bop, bop, ride that jab back. So look, a lot of times he might even just want to feed it with that, with that one target right here. Jab, he goes, bang, bang. I want to beat his hand back to his face. When I throw my jab, the jab comes all the way back. Jab all the way back. As he steps into fire, now I go. See how my jab beats his jab back? Look at my feet. They're set. I'm not doing this. Right? My head's out in front of my foot. Center. Right? Everything's got to stay centered up. Okay, I don't want to lean either, any direction, right? Stepping right in so my feet are perfect. Don't fall over yourself. You can't drive off this back foot like this, right? Bang, bang, in, out. I want you to make the jab snap, whop, like a whip. I want you to snap their head back when you jab them. Yes? On three, one, two, three. Do it. Okay, bring it in. Now, we're gonna get into our three lines of defense. We're gonna keep that as a constant. Anytime my partner jabs at me, I'm gonna fade and I'm gonna step back in with that one, two. Right? So I can't just watch out for the one thing. You have to constantly be looking for the punches and you have to understand range and distance management. All right, I'm having a hard time with the English language today. I don't know what the problem is. But I'm, I'm we're gonna work it out. So, the first, who can tell me what my first line of defense is? Huh? Range, uh, no. <laughs> what? No. Huh? What'd you say? <laughs> yeah, the best defense is more offense. All right, best defense is more offense. My first line of defense when we're talking about mixed martial arts is my level change, okay? In order for them to get in and get to my hips and take me down to the ground, he's gonna have to drop underneath and get to my hips. You see that? So my first line of defense is my level change. When I say defense, we're talking about takedown defense right now, okay? We're talking about takedown defense, defending against takedowns. So my first line of defense is a level change. So when Ben changes levels, I have to change levels with him. When you do this, I want you to put a mitt up there, put a target up there for your partner, just so they got something to punch at. Because when he level change and starts to come in a little bit, I want to kind of pop him out there. You see that? Now, two things you have to be very careful of when you're sticking that jab out there. One, don't overextend. So this is, I don't even care if this really hits him, it just kind of keeps him out, right? It just kind of keeps him out of there. It's my distance management tool. My level change ensures that he's not going to get underneath me, and that jab right there measures the distance. Okay? So one, don't try to like overextend here. I don't even care if you hit him. It's just to get him out of there. I'm just digging him out of there with my jab. Two, you can't punch like this down. One of the favorite things that we like to do in here is the drop and pop. We like to fake that level change and shoot that right hand right over the top. Or fake the level change and jump in with a check hook. 
Both of those are super effective because people have a tendency to kind of chase with their hands. You have to change levels and when I throw my jab out there, look, my shoulder is coming up there and hitting me in the jaw so I know I'm safe, right? Don't overextend, it makes it too easy to get to this lead leg. Level change and just kind of dig them out of there, okay? So those are the two things you need to be most aware of is not punching down, sticking your chin up. Level change so that your shoulder's coming up and hitting you in the chin, right? And then not overextending, trying to hit him too hard. He's coming to you, no big deal. When I back out, I want to back out at a circle, okay? So Ben's going to move around and he's just going to feed me a jab. Now, he's telling me when to go. He might, jabs and crosses, you can work them both. So he'll move around and feed me a jab, feed me a cross, feed me a jab, cross, and then he'll level change and come at me a little bit. When you do that, give your partner a target, okay? Just something that I can make contact with besides your face. I trust Ben, Ben trusts me. I can make a little contact here with his head. Not everybody has that level of trust, all right? So give him a target, okay? Don't overextend, don't punch down. You have to change levels. A lot of time, that'll be enough to stop him from shooting on you. He tries to go underneath, whoop. I change levels, now I'm ready to dig him out. Don't back straight up, but I want you to make a little space by angling out here, just circle out. When I circle, which way do I prefer to circle? Huh? Away from the power. So whether he's left-handed or right-handed. If he's left-handed, I'm gonna circle this way. If he's right-handed, I'm gonna circle this way. Away from the power, right? So, picking up on the level change, moving, you throwing around, the English language. Moving around, throwing my jabs and crosses, and when he lay, changes levels, whoop, 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 I put a distance management tool out there. Bow! And I'm looking to set up a counter shot. Yes? That's one. We'll start there and we'll move forward. On three, one, two, three. Let's go. Our second line of defense is our forearms or our frames, okay? So when Ben changes levels and Ben tries to grab my hips, see the frame that he runs into? So if he changes levels and he's able to get underneath, whoa, there's my secondary line of defense. He should run right into my forearm, right? This side or this side, okay? Either one of them works fine. The right hand usually works best because, again, he's attacking me this way. That's presented, so it works good here. Look, I'm thinking about my uppercut as he's coming up. I'm thinking about my double necktie, but it's a single necktie first. Here's the things I want you to not do. Common mistakes. When he changes, don't reach. Don't reach for Ben. He's coming to me, right? I don't have to reach for him. Whoa. Right? He runs right into that frame. If I start reaching, again, that's when the drop and pop happens. Yep. He catches me reaching, he's going to do it again, and then he's going to knock me unconscious. Right? So I want to let him run into my frames. So this is like, you know, they get to the second line of defense. Oh shit. He caught me maybe overextended. Oh shit. Right? And runs right into that frame. Make sure you don't have any loose Velcro hanging off your gloves. Hide those dog ears. Most of you are not brand spanking new, so you do that already, but some of you may not know that. <clears throat> but leave the Velcro off, or make sure all the Velcro is covered up so you don't scratch somebody. I don't care if you hit me in the face or kick me on accident, that's, that's cool. But if you scratch me, we're, we're gonna fight. Okay, I don't like being scratched. All right, so that's my secondary line of defense. Same drill, I'm working off the jabs and crosses now Ben can go whenever he wants to, bang, whoop, and he's going to run right into that second line of defense. Notice my hands are very close to my head so I don't get punched in the face. If I extend my hands or I reach, that's when he's going to drop and pop, right? So he goes under, tries to grab my, all, you want, all I want you to do is just try to grab your partner's legs, right? So if I'm feeding here, what I would do is I would just go to the face. That's it. And again, you know, sometimes he's on this side and he attacks, and I use this frame. This is good, that's good. I'm thinking about my follow-up shots, right? Sometimes he attacks and oh, it's here. This is good, this is good. Okay, 
So think about your follow-ups and play around with those. Uppercuts, knees from the tie clinch. Don't try to reach with both hands. One at a time. Let them run into your frames. So first line of defense is what? Huh? My level chain. Second line of defense is what? My frames or my my frames are my forearms in this instant. Yes? All three, one, two, three. Working that second line of defense. All right, my third line of defense is what? My sprawl. Yes, you got one right. First line of defense is what? Level change. Second line of defense is what? Frames, which happen to be my forearms in this case. My third line of defense is my sprawl. So Ben got all the way to my hips here, right? So I have to learn how to deal with that. The way we're going to feed this with the pads is feeders are just going to touch the floor. So every time Ben touches the floor with the focus mitt, that's a sprawl. And look, my hips are flat. My laces are down. If I had laces on, they would be down, right? Laces out! Name the movie. Hey! Way to go, Hillary. And I immediately bounce back to my feet and circle or come up fire in the knee. So when he touches the mat, boom, up, knee, back down, and reset. So every time he touches the floor, I'm into my sprawl. Hips are down, lace is down, pop back up, bang, fire that knee, get off and moving. Yes? Think we can handle that? We're gonna do that real quick, and then we're gonna break that sprawl all the way down into details, and that'll be the end of class. Yes? All three, one, two, three.